Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do something that I've been doing in other videos as well, which is uh, compare features between Magento 2 and Shopper 6. Um, and specifically in this video, I'm going to uh, deal with uh, templating. Now, as soon as you know uh, that templating is a little bit complex in Magento 2, it, it might be that you're seeing the templating in Shopper 6 as kind of like a breeze. Uh, before I make that comparison, let's first focus upon um, how it's being done in Magento. So in Magento, uh, it all starts with a controller. That controller class or controller object is somehow instantiated by using the routing uh, process. And within that routing process, the controller is called upon and is supposed to be returning a so-called uh, result interface. Um, and, and that could be a redirect, it could be a forward, it could be something else, but it could also be um, a, a so-called page result object um, and the purpose or the goal of that page result is basically to give the system an instruction to go to the next step which is loading and rendering the layout. Well the loading of the layout actually involves reading all of those different XML files out there uh, that, that are making up the, the XML layout uh, in total uh, but additionally there's also some database information and some other um, uh, PHP coded uh, details in there that make up that same layout. Um, and the goal of that layout is basically to come up to um, a hierarchy with uh, blocks and containers. Um, and containers could contain other blocks or containers, and a block could contain um, a PHTML template. And in the end, the PHTML template is then rendered into HTML, and that's how the whole thing uh, comes to being. And it's, it's all important already uh, to note that within the Magento 2 templating system, um, a lot of this is actually based upon uh, the blocks and the view models and the layout to be actually classes uh, with their own responsibility uh, to, to basically just build this hierarchy of HTML elements. Well, comparing this with shopware is, is always kind of like, well, um, uh, intriguing because there's a lot less to explain with uh, shopware. In shopware, the, the, the functionality is just singled down to a controller that is being called upon yet again by some kind of routing process. But if you're rendering a page from the controller, then you do so by, by using this render storefront um, uh, method within the controller, which leads you directly into the Twig template. So in between, there's no view models, there's no block classes, uh, there's no containers per se. Um, it's just directly a jump from the controller to uh, Twig. Uh, and that being said, um, it, it, this sounds like a limiting situation. However, the responsibility uh, that, that uh, lies with the XML layout in Magento is now actually taken care of by the Twig templates themselves. So we still can talk about a hierarchy of blocks, uh, but a block is nothing more than just a little bit of syntax within the Twig templating system. And within a block, we can call upon another block. Within a block, we can override another block. We can include, we ext can extend, and, and so on. So uh, once working uh, with that Twig templating system, you will find out that you, you basically have the same kind of flexibility um, as before with uh, the XML layout. It's a different architecture, it's a different system, but it leads to the same kind of possibilities. Now, th this is just uh, the theory behind it. Uh, let me briefly go through the steps of uh, the coding part um, on the software side. So a controller is uh, normally extending upon a parent controller, and that parent controller could be of multiple types. Uh, but if we're dealing with rendering a page, um, it's usually a storefront controller. Um, from that storefront controller, we actually have that method uh, render storefront. Um, there are some other things going on here, specifically with uh, the, the PHP annotations at route scope and at route, but that's a little bit beyond uh, the point. Uh, the main thing here is to focus upon the templating part, and you can see that the controller is simply just calling upon that method render storefront uh, with as an argument the Twig template, and that brings us to the Twig templating uh, part. Um, obviously, there's much more to, to explain about controllers, uh, but that's actually for another lesson. So in another lesson, we're actually going to uh, run through this whole scenario step by step, learning about those PHP annotations, learning about uh, what kind of parent classes we can use, and also learning about uh, how to call upon those uh, Twig templates in a flexible way. Um, the other thing I simply wanted to show you is uh, the Twig templating stuff. 
Um, so this is just a little bit of an example showing that I'm creating a new uh, example uh, twig template extending upon a base template, but also including yet another detail template. Um, and by simply using SW extends and SW include, um, you kind of like get to the same picture that you had with Magento, um, uh, having a single uh, layout um, that you can build upon and, and can extend upon. And this is not only about extending upon uh, the shopware core, but it also involves um, a layer of plugins in between so that basically the core could be overridden by plugins. The plugins could be overridden by the theme, and that's basically shaping up uh, the end result. So hopefully this is giving you kind of like an impression of uh, what the differences are. With uh, Magento, it seems that the XML layout is always responsible for um, uh, defining structure, while in Shopware, uh, we have those block tags in Twig, uh, Twig uh, taking care of that same uh, thing. Uh, we still have a controller, we still have a routing logic. It's just that, that it seems almost as if uh, the whole system of rendering um, is in Magento a, a lot more complex because of the block classes, view model classes, and the layout on its own, while in Shopware, it's just flattened down um, maybe serving also a nice little purpose. I'm not going to get into the opinions, but at least you've seen now uh, the changes or the differences between these two uh, systems. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back in a bit.